People of all sizes, large and little, ladies and gentlemen, and folks somewhere in the middle, welcome back to Sushimi's house. I'm your loving host, Master Sushimi, joined today by my sweet sister, Ice Ice Bubby. Hello. And we're back with some more Final Fantasy 16. We're back with everyone's favorite toddler. It's Jill! Not not Jill. The, oh, sorry. Uh, what is... I can't remember her name, actually. What is her name? Clyde? Thank you. There's something in... Well, I kept trying to call him, like, Wyvern, but I was like, no, no. Onion sword. Onion sword. Pick up this radiant the blade of gold and turquoise in one's hand. Realm. It invokes strange and familiar images of four homespun youths on a journey to quench the coming darkness. Brings everyone to tears. You know, claim it. I'm gonna use it to cut onions. Oh, is that what it's you for? slice... Like Clyde for the last time. You don't need a specific It's the same sword. as my current weapon. You don't need a specific sword for a specific vegetable. For the last time. <laughs> What's it look like? Onion. Oh, it's so goofy. <laughs> well, we're rocking with that for the rest it's, of the it's session. So gaudy. Yeah, guys, there was an update. Uh ooh, I forgot about the horrible motion blur. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. It looks really bad on the onion. He sword. moves like they do. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to force that to happen a lot, but uh, yeah, it's been like two, almost three weeks since we recorded. Oh, um, hey. Um, the last thing we saw was a bummer. Yeah, that was pretty, pretty bummtastic. I didn't end up grinding a whole lot because uh, I haven't really had time we were on vacation. or feeling it. Um, do you want me to ruin your day like right up front? I guess. Um, okay. Does this spark anything? Scritching Torgle? No, no, no. The sweetest pair of denim designer jeans you've ever seen. Oshkosh Gabosh? Or whatever it's called? Bagosh, first Bagosh. of all, but no. No? Does it really not? My my, my head did tickle, Is, the, but is I don't there know a why. brain itch? There, there was an itch, and it is bothering me. Let me try it again. The sweetest pair of designer jeans. Or no. The sweetest pair of denim designer jeans you've ever seen. No, the song is more familiar, but still no. Do you want to know what it's from? <laughs> it's from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. <laughs> There's an episode where they ha they ha start a band called Pizza Party and talk to the jeans as their like number one single. Oh my god. Um. So I'm gonna hand you something. Oh no. Here in a bit. Uh, it might not be best to do this while talking to an NPC. Uh, but I we'll I remember this. Second. Yeah. Oh, wait, uh, let me do you off. do you want to just hit this real quick? Where? Just, just hit that that bong rip. <laughs> Am I s saying all of it? Sure. I tried to call you. I even stopped by. You completely ignored me and left with some other guy. Alone and heartbroken, I went to the mall. I saw an amazing thing hanging up on the wall. The sweetest sweetest pair of denim designer jeans you've ever seen. They fit so perfectly on me. I totally forgot that you were so mean. And then it repeats that course again. Now all of a sudden you call like three times a day. I'm not crawling back now. These jeans are walking away. What the fuck? <laughs> These are so good. <laughs> what a good breakup song. Uh, Move on, everybody. Get yourself a nice pick. Now actually, now it makes me want a nice pair of jeans. Honestly, like, I don't yeah. Own, like, I, I don't already. I own want good some jeans. like nice ass jeans. I, I already I, own I, good jeans. I only have like old navy shits. Ah. Uh, but yeah, I remembered that like a month ago and for some reason waited till now to bring it up. My God. Martha, what the fuck is up, homie? Hey, Martha, that was rough. Thanks for taking care like, of Like, what's this about jeans? Yeah, yeah don't I worry about it. message for you. Two more have succumbed. <laughs> also, check out my weird sword. I see. It looks... It's made of cheese. It looks like an arts and crafts looks project. Stairs. Looks like he made it in like art three class. Looks like baby's it's first so cosplay bad. story. It's so, so distracting. <laughs> I have to change it back. I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. Okay, Martha, okay, I Martha, like you. Wow. Said your strength. What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. 
So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. Damn, so she like pays to provide hospice care. Yeah, wow. Uh, it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard Are you sure? Fixing that bridge for you. You can come. Damn, Bernard. Damn, yeah, Bernard. I mean, yeah, that's no joke. Well, it only sure? took you two weeks while okay. we were on vacation. <laughs> that's that's still pretty quick for a bridge. Actually, pretty fucking good. Two weeks for a bridge, Sitting one man by himself. Yeah, that's sick. Wear this, and they'll know you for one of us. Can I put it on my sick sword? And you cannot. Slumbering Chocobo. Aww. I know that you will always be welcome here. Say thank you, Clyde. Yeah, Clyde, you dick. Clydesdale. <laughs> right, Clydesdale Mackenberry. Mackenberry. You get up there and you say thank you. Lady Warwick have come back to us, and long may they stay. Oh, she knows, knows. Oh. I mean, I guess to be fair, she's probably lived there. Oh, she gave us there. money for that. She probably has lived there since I'm they sure were she's kids. probably at least aware of, you know, what the monarch or the dukedom used to be. The duchy. The duchy. Um, Change that sword back or so help me. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so fucking it's ugly? Just, it's just so distracting. It's just funny to me that it's exactly the same stats as my Gaia Blade. It's also two. like, it's called the Onion Sword, but like... Why? Call it the cheese It's sword. probably a reference to another I'm weapon. I'm sure it is, but... <laughs> Anywho. Oh, thank God. Uh, I've never been so happy for a lack of color. Yeah. Don't hurt me. Alright, just by habit. have to say that. <laughs> we leave a building. Give me a kiss. Sid. Oh, Clive. Oh. Where I left you. My goodness, what's wrong with your arm? <gasps> Wait, no, he's crystallizing. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Oh no. Oh no. Uh uh. My decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. Hmm. Hmm. Was that just a crystal that did a fire? Yeah. But I mean, that's, that's also cool bad because it means he's not even using his own power to light his own cigarettes. So. That's true. He used to use his, his fingertips. Yeah. Ah. didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. <laughs> oh. What's up, Sid? Here What's go. going on? Back in the day. Just the one? Slave to a fight. Oh, okay. Just like you. Oh, that's a little jealousy into it because you couldn't have your girl. I wanted to save her. Benedicta. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. Sorry about being your yeah, sorry ex Yeah, I half. absolutely murdered your girl. I'm no savior. Just a conceited old fool. Are you not even that old? You're probably like 40, dude. Relax. Of them the hammer, 40 max. <laughs> Well, he's probably in his 40s. Oh, no, he looks really good. But, Clive, I will say this. Quit doing that dog shit. If you're gonna turn into a dog. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Except that, and you may yet escape your fate. True. My fate. Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. That's fair. You might not be able to save anyone else. 
But at the very least, you can save yourself. Reasonable. Mm, yeah. I'll try. Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Hmm. Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. You ever hear somebody's voice and just get insanely jealous? Yeah. Sid sounds incredible. He does. I only just now realized that Jill has one hand glove, but not both. Oh, yeah. Well, she fights with a rapier, so maybe That's the glove fair. is to protect her, like, saber hand. Yeah. Uh, alright, so we're- oh! Some new, like, side quests just opened up. Nice! Well, may as well find those. Yeah. Um... Oh, probably right behind me. Better not be that jerk. I don't remember how to play this game, by the way. Yeah, that's great. How are you? You were. Works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? As I say, you were polite enough. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. But it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. Yeah. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Mm. Claimed it. <laughs> yeah, they oh, ate it. <laughs> it but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty bog bugs. crabs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the crab babas. Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh. Just like say. two or three or four right or seven or ten. <laughs> well... I like killing things anyway, so. And then the other one should be nearby. <laughs> yeah, I remember this guy at least was polite to us, even from the start, so. I'm okay with him being a little bit of a How goof. do we pass right by this one? Ah. I have to find him before the. Can't talk now, I. Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Yeah. Martha Why do you know my name? You. Oh, okay, good. Word is you're a devil with that blade. And you so what if I am? Hurry. What are you going to do about it? Going? You want me to be oh, a devil with a blade right now? Well, I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. Aww. They'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Yeah, I'll even prioritize yeah. this one. Yes. Oh, no gold. Fine. Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank That's you, nice Clive. of him to, like, say it like that. Help, yeah. I'll catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha oh. before the Imperials. It is kind of nice that the time yet? skip is inbuilt we'll because we kind of like old ends. we didn't have to deal with um snake played me false. Acted like he was one of us and the old time he was one I will gut you like a fish. I yeah. was talking. And handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look. This one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Well, then you go oh, do You're it. about to catch some fucking hands. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right? You don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along with um, the Anyway, like, the because of the time skip, I bought my mic, sorry. We kind of skipped the whole Clive being like, but I'm a royal. We 
You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we just see him. Ha- ha- I'm assuming he did have that because he was fully enslaved at 15. Yeah, he was a, a teenager and was, in fact, a royal. So, like, of course you would do whatever you can to get out of a bad situation if it means being, you know, whiny about it. Uh, beast against beast, that's a different thing. Uh, false friends, crystal and lifeline. Okay, so it looks like up here is false friends. Cool. Um, but yeah, you know, we kind of just get over the whole, like, him being a whiny teenager about his life situation. Sure. You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. Cool. Let's maybe nice. not ask What's too many people, deal? though, because uh, then it's going to look suspicious, you perhaps. For chance. For chance. Is Jill with us? Probably. Yeah. You can't have gold He's slower than Torgold. 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 Torgolds. Okay. He's in this area, maybe. Somewhere. He's probably. Oh. Uh oh. His lamp. Oh boy. He's in trouble. Oh, oh my boy. One Norris was carrying, no doubt. Oh, the boy! Norris, no! At least I know which way he went. Toward that house, maybe? For chance. A convenient house. Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Okay, well, he's proficient at combat. That's or at the good. very least, he can use his bearer abilities for combat. Norris? Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat us. Easy, buddy. Yeah. We're not here to put you in irons. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in bearers. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And mm. sorry. You're no Imperial dog. We really gotta change out of this uniform. Yeah, we really gotta. You'd think by now Clive would have changed outfits, although again, I guess it's like back there. good armor is kinda hard to give up, I guess. I guess that's true. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. Or maybe it's the seal that I identifies it? I really don't know what exactly it is that makes it everybody go Imperial Dog immediately. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. A bear without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. Only to be betrayed by a friend. Yeah, that's rough, buddy. Yeah. I do wonder, like, how? I'm assuming he, like, carelessly used his bearer ability. Right, right? around. Like, like, maybe he lit a candle or, you know, chilled some fish uh, without thinking one day. Or maybe he just straight up trusted him, like, hey, you've been my best friend all my life. I got to tell you something. Yeah. Like, no matter how it happened, it really sucks that that was Ronald's reaction. I mean, yeah, obviously, it's terrible. Bog crab, bog crab, crop hoppers. Oh, we got a next time. Oh, yep. Next Pop. time at Sashimi's house. More crab papa. Later. Bye. 
You gotta know you're in for something special You gotta feel it in your bones Oh, you're gonna find what you need all the time If you're looking for it, na-na-na-na-na-na